WordPress SEO is my go-to CMS for building websites. And after growing multiple WordPress websites to thousands of clicks, I want to share my playbook with you. With this setup, you ensure that your content has the highest possibility of ranking on Google. The first place we'll start is your DNS. And don't worry if you don't know anything about DNS, this is super simple. I always use Cloudflare, it's completely free and it's one of the fastest DNS in the world. And that's what we want with the DNS. We want it to load our website as fast as possible. So if you're not using Cloudflare already, you can easily move your domain to Cloudflare and there are many guides to do this. And once you're set up in Cloudflare, you want to go to speed and to optimization and then you want to enable everything except for Rocker Loader. And I'll come back to why later on. Lastly, you want to go into caching and then configuration and enable crawler hints. This is just to make it even easier for Google to crawl your website and understand it. The next step is hosting. And hosting is as important as DNS. And the only thing we want out from our hosting is a super fast server. So here I recommend using either Tenweb or Kinsta. I'm shuffling between these. Kinsta is a premium service and it's by far the best for WordPress. But if you don't have the budget to go and sign up for Kinsta, it can be a bit pricey. Then I recommend either Tenweb or Cloudways. These are great alternatives as well. And all of these three hosting platforms I just mentioned, they have great support and WordPress experts, especially Kinsta, that's the best support that I have experienced. And they can literally help you with anything regarding WordPress. And another thing with these hosting platforms is that you get not only a super fast server, but you also get the option to optimize your images to load as fast as possible. So that means that the hosting service will compress your images so they will load as fast as possible. And often you also get a CDN with this as well. So you get a lot of functionality with these hosting providers that can make your website load as fast as possible. Kinsta has the best features and the fastest server based on the tests that I have done, but Tenweb and Cloudways are not far behind it. You can easily use that as well and still rank on Google. So now that you have your DNS and your hosting in order, I also assume that you have WordPress installed because that happens automatically. Or you might even have migrated your website to one of these hosting platforms and they can help you with this as well. And now it's time to work on your theme, plugins and the content part. So for the theme, if you're not using a theme already, I'll strongly recommend using either Cadence or Generate Press because here you get a ton of options to build a super fast loading website without any bloat. If you want to design beyond that, then just make sure that it doesn't have a lot of features you're not going to use because these all purpose themes, they might seem great because you can build anything, but they also come with a lot of fluff, a lot of features you won't use. And they will simply just make your website slow because they will just be there and they won't be used in any case. So be careful with this, but if you really want, you can go to a website called Theme Forest. I will leave links to all the things that I'm mentioning in the description. And here you can find any website design for your WordPress website that you can ever imagine. So the options are endless. I personally use Cadence for my test websites and also some production websites. And then I also use Elementor's own theme called Hello Elementor, which is super minified. And now for maybe the most important step, and that is the general SEO plugin you will install. Right now, there's no better SEO plugin than Rank Math, and I use that for all my sites, and I'll strongly recommend you do the same. It's completely free to use. You can sign up for the paid plan if you have the budget for it, but otherwise, the free plan is still far enough. With the paid plan of Rank Math, you get access to schema and some other features, and the schema part is super powerful if you want to use that. This can be great if you're writing recipes, you're doing reviews, even promoting a book, a podcast, or similar. Because a schema, what it does is that it takes extra features and extra content out into the search results. So for example, I'm writing a lot of reviews on my website. So I like to use the review schema. And here I can use star rating, I can use pros and cons, pricing, and much more. And all of this information is pulled into the search results so I get even more attention in the search results with my rating, pros and cons, and so on. So this is super powerful if you want to use it. But once you've set up rank math, which is super simple, you get a generated sitemap, but this happens automatically. So what you want to do with this sitemap is to go into your Google Search Console account and then enter it in there. If you don't have a Google Search Console account already, I will strongly recommend you to sign up for one. Completely free and it's super easy to use. I'll leave a link in the description on how you can use Google Search Console to be a super powerful tool for your SEO strategy. Next, you'll want to go into Rank Math, 
titles and meta, and then local SEO. And even though you're not focused on local SEO, you have to fill this out because here you fill out information that describes your organization or your website. And all of this information is then automatically generated into an organizational schema. And this schema is crawled by Google to learn about your website. What is this website about? Is this a real website with a real organization behind? Are there other places that this specific website is mentioned or the organization? And it's all of these elements that are super powerful and you simply have to fill it out. It's so, so crucial. And there's one more plugin you want to install and that's WP Rocket. And this plugin is a premium plugin, but it's by far the best WordPress speed optimization plugin. What it basically does is that it compresses your entire website into a small package. So whenever visitors are loading your website, visiting your website, it loads extremely fast. So what you want to do once you have installed WP Rocket is that you want to go into file optimization. And here you want to enable everything that you can. Just remember that once you have enabled all of this, then go into an incognito window and then check your website. Is it loading correctly? And if it is, then there's no problem at all. But if you experience any type of issue, then either write the WP Rocket support is super helpful. Otherwise, you can simply start disabling feature by feature to see whenever your website is loading correctly. And once it does, then you know what feature was actually causing this issue. You also want to enable mobile caching. You want to enable all the features they have for image optimization, because this also ensures that your images are loaded even faster, even though the hosting is still compressing them for you. And lastly, you can also enable preloading, but really test this one because it can be heavy for the server. And with all this setup, you have the perfect SEO setup. So once you start writing content, there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. And the first thing is using tags. So tags are great for ensuring that WordPress are suggesting the right related posts. So once I'm reading a post about a specific subject, I most likely want to read more about that subject. And if you've been using tags, then WordPress will automatically be able to suggest the right type of posts. So make sure you use tags and don't overflow with tags. Use one, maximum two tags per blog post so you ensure that you keep it accurate. Then you also want to ensure that you link from one blog post to another multiple times and you can almost not write too many internal links. So every time there is a section in a blog post that are relevant for another blog post, then you want to link to that other blog post. So you can also use Rank Math for this as well. They have a little suggestion box in the right sidebar where you can see all the suggested internal links that you can do. Or you can also install a plugin like Link Whisper, which helps with this as well. But just be careful with the amount of plugins because the more plugins we install, the slower of a website we get. However, with Link Whisper, it does only run in the WordPress admin part, so it doesn't affect your speed at all. So I can recommend that if you need even more assistance, with writing these internal links. I will leave a link as well. The last thing you can do is to implement the schema that I have mentioned earlier. This also happens while you write the content. And if you have the paid version of Rank Math, I will strongly recommend to use this schema because it does give you extra attention. And the more attention and the more space you take in the search results, the higher of a chance that you will actually get this super valuable click for whoever is searching for the subject that you've been writing about. And I know this was a lot to unpack, so you're welcome to go back and follow it step by step again. And if you have any questions at all, then make sure to leave a comment and then I'll try and help the best that I can. But what you want to do from here, once you have this set up, is that you want to go back and optimize some of your old content to revive it. And I've shared my playbook right here on how I do that and grow my website. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.